Welcome back. Today's video is a video, uh, it's, uh, we're doing this as a request from uh, one of our viewers, Wheeling and Dunning, and requesting a, uh, we're going back to the uh, Ivor Johnson Champion XL single barrel break open shotgun. And uh, <clears throat> we have a request on showing or telling how to replace the extractor, ejector, on, on the shotgun. Well, it's a lot easier for me to just go ahead and show you instead of uh, telling you. And I'll show you how to do this. First of all, you get your barrel off of your weapon. That will be uh, taking your forearm off and breaking it open and uh, bringing your barrel out of the uh, front of the receiver. Next, <clears throat> you'll want to uh, take and see the little little uh, stud sticking out right here. You want to take and push that in. And that brings your extractor out just a fraction of an inch. Next, you'll take a screwdriver and lift this up. And this will bring it all the way to where you can uh, work on it. I like to take it and kind of cock it again halfway like this. Now this pin here is your retaining pin for your extractor. That keeps it from flying out and that's all it does. All the rest of it has nothing to do with changing out your extractor. You can leave all this alone, your, uh, your trip lever, your trip lever spring, your trip lever pin. You can leave all of this in and change your extractor only by just pulling one pin. And that's your extractor retaining pin. We're going to go ahead and pull this out and we'll show you how easy this is. You want to have a little block Lay it over here on the edge a little bit. And you'll get this pin out like this. And it'll come out from right to left on this particular one. And then back in left to right. You'll see how it's, uh, the pin is flattened on one side. You'll want the flat side to be uh, up on top because that's where your extractor slides back and forth and this keeps it from flying out. You can see where it's been hammering against this retaining pin throughout the years so you can always kind of like turn it around or index it differently to where you've got a brand new side. Alright, so now we're going to get the take the extractor out. And here it is. <clears throat> You'll see uh, this is kind of like a sear for your extract ejector lever. And whether that disengages, that lets, allows the extractor to pop back against the extractor retaining pin and extractor shell. Okay, so let's go back in. You have a little bit of resistance going back in. Okay, we got it in. Now we're going to go back in left to right and make sure that you have the flat part of your pin on top where your extractor slides back and forth on. You'll index that in and it drops in there pretty, pretty good. Just like that. 
Okay, let's test it. Let's plug an empty shell in here. And uh, let me cock it all the way in. Okay. To check it, you want to just take a screwdriver and pull down on this extractor lever. <clears throat> so here's how it'll go. Push your plunger in. And you got it. That's all there is to it. You don't have to take it apart anymore uh, than just taking out your extractor uh, retaining pin. And mo most of these are the same way. Your Harrington Richardsons and such uh, have the same arrangement for the extractor. That will be it for the day on this. And I'd like to give you a little bit of a preview on what we're going to do on the next video. <clears throat> I got this uh, Ithaca Model 37 at a sale here a while back. It come from a house that was uh, had been full of Tomcats. That's why I'm going to call it my uh, Tomcat gun. Everything else is pretty much in pretty good shape. The, the screws are boogered up. Uh, your uh, your uh, trigger plate screw, that's all boogered up. I barely got that out. I had to chuck it up in the drill press with a screwdriver tip and turn the chuck to get this out. And then your, uh, your carrier screw and your carrier screw, retaining screw, I've got to got Gotta go back with all those brand new. They're all boogered up also. But the interesting thing about this, I want to show you the barrel, and I'd like to have some comments on the front of the barrel. This has the uh, Deer Slayer sight. It's a Deer Slayer barrel, and it's a 25 and a half inch long barrel. I've got it marked off at 20. I got it marked off at 22 because you can see the Tomcats have been uh, peeing on this and uh, it must have just been sticking out of uh, a blanket or something and look at the board here you can barely see inside so to avoid the rust I could, I could do 22 inches or 20 inches and uh, reset the, uh, the front sight. So, give me some, uh, I, I'm open for some uh, suggestions, comments. Leave your comments, suggestions on what you would do with this particular problem. Who knows, maybe the, the rust goes all the way back to the breach. And I, may not, I may have to get another barrel. But uh, I doubt that. Anyway, that will be it for the day, and we'll, show, we'll see you on our next video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and comment. Bye-bye.